guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest VIII. We are going to continue the game, and we're actually going to finish the main game today. Let's save and Farbury both times. All right, both are in Farbury. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we did the Medea stuff. I feel like I watched them last stream because I don't. I didn't think I would remember. I actually didn't expect to be back with this game. Um, I didn't expect to be back with this game today. Uh, I was supposed to play. I, I wanted to play Valkyria Chronicles, but um, I have something later today, so I can't really stream that long. And I was like, you know what? We have like an hour or hour and a half left of Dragon Quest VIII, so why don't we just finish that and I can prep for the post game. As much as I wanted to play Valkyria Chronicles, I think this is the better option for a shorter stream. Because we'll, we'll definitely finish the game. I think all we have to do is the fetch quest and then the final, ba final boss. So, you know. Let me see if I saw the Medea cutscene. Alright, I did. So I did the Mystical Spring and the Inn scene, I think. But anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to do. If we finish the main story a little early, maybe I'll grind a little bit on screen so I don't have to do too much off screen. But uh, let's, I gotta look on where we're supposed to go for this fetch quest really quick. Cause I don't remember. <laughs> All I remember is Imperia giving it to us, but I don't remember what we have to do. Oh, perfect. All right, one's in Farbury. How am I this good at planning? So the burnt down house in Farbury. Where where is the burnt down house? I don't remember. Break it. Is this the burnt down house? Hi. At last, I've been waiting for you. I saw you in battle with the Lord of Darkness, Raptorm. Yes, I saw it in the crystal. He is at the root of this of this ca catastrophe. And now, before your final encounter with him, you wish to look into the crystal ball once again to reveal the outcome of battle. Even the great Kaldurasha cannot see such things. Raptor is shrouded in mist. I see only mist in the mist. Even my eyes cannot penetrate their hidden mysteries. But I know you have what it takes, Jessica. You could do what it needs to be done. Hmm, I sent you were hoping for something more helpful from the great Kaldurasha. Well, fortune be with you. Is he a sage? What burnt down house in, um... Barbary are they talking about? So according to this, we have to go. Well, I mean, I figured this out in speculation. We have to go to all the places where the sages died. I don't remember where the sage died in Farbury. Why am I going in the well? This is not what I want. Bum, 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 bum. Burnt down house of Farbury. Farbury. However you pronounce that town. The town. Uh. I don't know. That's odd. I don't know where to go. Well, we should probably look for a house that looks burnt down. But, um. Oh, hey. There it is. Oh, hey, what's this? Hello. The orb glows at Jessica's feet. Takes the purple orb and puts it in the bag. The orbs! Good old Dragon Quest XI. Alright. Tower of Alexandria, the top, I think, is the next place we go. I should be able to use holy protection to get away from the monsters. Because they are insanely weak. Hold up. Yeah, Tower of Alexandria. You know what? Holy protection. Because these guys are weak, I'm sure. Also, am I set for the Jessica ending? I think I am. I would hate to not be set for the Jessica ending. 
I think getting Alistair's, ar Alistair's armor, which I already did, is what you need to do to get the, uh, to get the, uh, Jessica ending, from what I read. I know this game was really, like, this game is long. I, I, I know it's been a while, but it really, I cannot believe we're reaching the end. Like, I don't know how long post game is gonna be. It could be, like, Symphonia, not too long, like, maybe a stream or two. One, one or two more streams and we'll get it done. But it's just, it's just really crazy how, um... We're almost done with the game. Because I love this game. I am going to miss playing it, of course. I see this with all games. I don't want to make it seem like I'm rushing the game, but I am glad to get to other playthroughs. But I am going to miss this game. Because this game is really good. But... I will be back with Dragon Quest XI. I'll play Dragon Quest XI, of course. Like, I will play Dragon Quest XI-S. And I'm probably going to do Heroes 2 first. The, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do the Platinum playthrough for Heroes 2 first. Definitely that's going to be first. But then after that, Dragon Quest XI. Eventually I'll get to Dragon Quest IV, Dragon Quest V. I definitely want to do those two. Maybe even Dragon Quest III. I don't, want, I don't really care if I don't have... I don't really want to do every Dragon Quest game. I'll definitely do 4 and 5. And 11. And Heroes, too. I don't know when 4 and 5 are going to be. But my priority right now is, um... Heroes 2 and Dragon Quest 11 S. Also, I hate... How many times the game makes us climb this tower. I think I know what I did wrong. Also, my emulator hates the tower. For some reason. Also, I don't know. Am I good leveled for the final boss? I should be fine, theoretically. Yeah, alright. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, the ladder. There we go. There are seven sages, so that means we only have to go to, like, five more locations after this. Not bad. I'm sure this is the only real, like, annoying one because you have to climb the tower. I actually got coffee today. Ha again, I have, like, a dunk in five minutes near my house. When I get up early enough, I go get coffee. Man, pumpkin is really good. I love pumpkin iced coffee. So... So delicious. I love it. I don't know if delicious is the best thing to say with a drink. It is so good though. I love it. Today is just that kind of day because I have my pumpkin coffee. And I'm playing Dragon Quest VIII. I mean, what more could you ask for? You go here, I think, right? Oh no, this isn't the one that mat. Oh no, this might be the one that matters. I think the next floor, this could lead you to a dead end if you do it wrong. I, think I did it right because of how many times I messed up. Previous visits. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it right. Because I always go on the top one to get there faster. And it took me a while to realize that that's not the way you do it. Yo, Holy Protection is a godsend. When dealing with dungeons that you already, um... That dungeons with weaker monsters. I don't think it works for monsters around the same level of, as you. I could be wrong, but I don't think it works that way. It is good though when you um when you um when you use it on previous monsters. Blue orb, nice. And now I'm in the evac. Next location is, oh, Abba Francisco, so back at Maella Abbey. I gotta say, this is pretty awesome, though. Going back to, like, every single... Going back to every single area where the sages died, it might make... It's a little annoying that the game, like, oh, before the final battle, you have to do this final fetch quest. It's a little annoying, I can admit. But also, it is really nice. I mean, maybe they could have placed it somewhere else in the game. Maybe if they placed it before the Black Citadel, it would have been nice, like, really good. I do like how the game kind of makes you go back to where all the sages died and kind of makes you retrace your steps. 
I love games that do that because you you just remember your journey and you remember everything you did. It's really awesome. I just maybe they could have placed it in a different area though. Like they could have put this probably before. Like maybe put a barrier around the Black Citadel. Have them go around these areas to get the sages, help the orbs before the Citadel. Then do the Citadel, fight um, Raptor and escape it, and then you could just go straight to the final battle. I feel like this kind of just like makes it oh you're not quite there to the final boss yet i don't know that's my opinion i feel like it like kind of dampens it a bit it's not bad but like lowering my game audio my game audio a bit stream on twitch it should be the same but i'm lowering it on my end because then I, I can barely hear myself talk having the game too loud is hard gold orb all right, five more. No, not five more, four more. <laughs> I know how to count, I swear. I know math. Four more orbs. Baccarat. But basically where every sage dies, like, is this- I think it's specifically where every sage died. Oh, this is, um, Cash and Carrie's father, right? Uh, the Golding, of the Golding Mansion. And that was Abbot Francisco. Was Alistair a sage? I don't recall. Oh, well, Alistair might have been a sage. And someone in Fairbury, which I do not remember. And then David, David's in Arcadia. Near uh, Master Domnico's mansion. Probably want a uh, master bedroom. Where would that be? Hey, break that! Oh, it's a file of magic water. <laughs> kind of useless, if you ask me. I tell you this though, I like that we don't have to do another dungeon. I don't, I don't care that dungeons that a lot of JRPGs have a dungeon and the final boss is in said dungeon. I don't mind that, but oh hey Carrie, I want to talk to you guys. Hey there, did you come all the way out here just to see us? I'm like touched and stuff. But if you really want to make me happy, head over to the casino and blow a lot of money, haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've done a bit of the casino, but I don't really feel like it right now. Maybe today if we have time. Long time no see, Carrie and I are still getting along like, well, brother and sister. But check this out. Remember that image of my ancestor in the trial room? After we saw it, I did some research in my family archives. Turns out that the Golding family is a special bloodline and it's connected to some kind of evil force to steal the way. And when the bloodline ends, the world will be shrouded in darkness too. I don't really get it, but there you have it. Anyway, I'm starting to get the feeling that all of those weird going-ons lately are related to my father's death. Your father's death? Whatever. This must be the master bedroom, right? It must be up here, surely. Why would Master Golding not be on the top floor? But the thing is, we didn't see Master Golding die, didn't we? I don't, I don't think we saw him die. He was just dead when we came here. Oh, there it is. Yellow orb. All right, next we go to, I know these locations, Arcadia. Martha's Cottage is where, um, I think Martha was a sage, so we have to go to Martha's Cottage. I forgot where the last one was. Eos? Oh, the Lord High Priest residence, of course. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I know where we have to go. I know exactly where the one in Arcadia is. I don't know why, but David is the one I remember the most. And Marta. Because let's be honest, those were more recent for me. I remember those two the most. Oh no, I didn't mean to zoom here. My bad. My bad. Again, I really think they should have just placed this, um... Really think they should have just placed this somewhere else, like, um before the Black Citadel, because it kind of just makes 
getting to the final battle even longer, even though it's quick to get all these, but still. How long have I been live? Like, 17 minutes, give or take. It just kind of slows it down. Like, I should just be fighting Raptorn. Or, um, whoever the final boss is at this point. It is Raptorn, right? Or, yeah, it's Raptorn. Yeah, this is where David died. Alright, now we go to Martha's College. Cottage. <laughs> Cottage. Ah, uh, man. And then the Lord High Priest residence. And then we're done. Where are we supposed to meet back? Imperia's, uh, thing? Is Imperia near Impichu? That would make the most sense. Alright, she died near a cave, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I could be wrong, but this may be exactly where they died. That is crazy, like the exact spot where their dead bodies were. Red orb, nice. I like Dragon Quest VIII's story. I haven't really compliment- I'm gonna talk more about it in the credits. I don't want to talk about it too much because obviously that would like kind of dampen the uh, credits. But I like uh, DQ8's plot a lot. Can we, uh, I cannot zoom to the, um, High Priest Residence. Not gonna lie, that's a little lame. Isn't it, like, north of Princess Minnie's Castle? I'm gonna try. While I'm at Princess Minnie's Castle, I should probably check. Should probably check if, uh, I have any more rewards for getting mini medals. Excuse me. Hi. Seventy-four. Oh, one more rip. You can get sacred armor with one more mini metal. I'm pretty sure this is near the Lord High Priest residence. I guess we'll find out. Pretty sure though. Let's see if I'm right. I I think you should be able to zoom to the High Priest residence. Oh, there it is. It's just that floating island. Oh, it's near the Dark Ruins. Yeah. That makes more sense, I think. I saw the Dark Ruins. Never mind. I don't know where this is. Land. Where, is Imperia waiting near Impichu, uh, in her, um, Imperia's, uh... Is she in her usual spot back near Impichu? I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much about why I like DQ's 8th story right now. I'm going to save that for the credits. I just want to say, though, this is, like, one of the best Dragon Quest plots ever. Dragon Quest V is good, because Dragon Quest V focuses on the whole family aspect and getting married, and the whole childhood aspect, like, a boy turning into a man. That's a really good plot device. Like, I do like that, too. Like, Dragon Quest V's plot is good because of the whole theme of, like, growing up. But... Um, Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest 4 is good. It has the whole chapter system going for it. It's alright. But this is, like, one that, oh, including, well, Dragon Quest 11 is another good one. I'm not sure which one I like more. I might have to replay 11 before I say if I like 8 or 11's more. I definitely think th the third act of Dragon Quest 8 is, like, oh, uh, not, not Dragon Quest 8. The third act of Dragon Quest 11 is, like, the weakest. But, um, I'll have to play DQ11 to see, but I do like Dragon Quest 8's plot is like one of the best, along with Dragon Quest 11. Alright, Silver Orb, that's the final one. I think that, yeah, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Back to Imperia. Talk to the woman below Imperia. So is she back at her throne? I'm assuming she's back near Pichu. That would make the most sense. Where else would she be? 